Okay YouTube, I've got a question. I've recently purchased a PS3 and an Xbox 360. And uh, happy, you know, with the PS3, it's got Blu-ray, optical, which is what this is about. And uh, the Xbox, you know, very happy with that, Xbox Live's brilliant and all that. But, I want to watch movies. And I, I want to watch HD movies as well. But, PS3, no problem. You get Blu-ray and an optical socket built in for surround sound. But the, but the Xbox 360, on the other hand, didn't. And I'm a bit pissed off with it. So, luckily I have a friend who had a spare optical adapter. But when I looked on YouTube, before even finding this out, or even knowing that I needed one, I had done my research. And I couldn't find one single video on YouTube to explain what the hell I needed or how it worked. So, it looks like I'm doing a world first. And I'm going to explain how the optical adapter works on the Xbox. Okay, so I've got the Xbox set up and I've got the optical adapter, which is, I don't think you can see it very well, which is this thing. Now this is the optical adapter and this is the optical cable that goes in to give surround sound. Now if I bought this separately I think it's about 20 or 30 quid, which I'm not very happy about, like I said, so luckily I had a friend who had one. It's a bit of a cheesy and crappy setup and it's all very plasticky, but I'm going to see if it does work. Like I said, the PlayStation 3, ah, you can see it, does come with one, so the Xbox doesn't. And it's all hooked in to this. Now. This is my amplifier. Now, it may say PS3, it's because I've stolen, well, I've uh, borrowed the optical cable from the PS3 and plugged it into the Xbox 360. And you can already see it's in surround sound because of this blue light. That means it is in surround sound. So, I will now show you Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 on in surround sound. Right? Well, you won't be able to hear it in surround sound, but I'm going to prove my point. Okay, so here we go. Now I, know like now I know I said I couldn't, sh uh, won't be able to hear the surround sound once I post this, but I do have f um, 5.1 so I'll take the camera to each speaker to demonstrate. Oh well, right, now, now I'm going to turn up the volume on my amplifier so you can hear it a bit better. There we go, it's a bit louder. Now, I don't actually need the game because the menu's in surround sound, so. One speaker. Two speakers. Surround sound one. Surround sound two. Obviously, the subwoofer. And there you have it. That is how you get surround sound on the Xbox 360. And oh, actually, while I'm here, I might as well go for a uh, mission. Mission select. Uh, oh, let me see, still are they? So I'll run through the training mission. As you can try and bolt this on. But the surround sound is insane on the Xbox, I have to admit. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Boundaries shift, new players step in, but power always finds a place to rest its head. We fought and bled alongside the Russians. We should have known they'd hate us for it. History is written by the victor, and here I am thinking we've won. But you bring that one at me and they find someone even worse to replace him. Locations.
see what I mean? Now, thanks for round sound. I don't know what is. This is Mike F. England. I'm out.